So check out these payments. I make a lot of videos about making money online, but this, this is one of the simplest side hustles I've ever come across. And to get started, all you have to do is, Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make money on Facebook as a complete beginner with no experience and zero money. In fact, you can do this from anywhere in the world as long as you have a computer and an internet connection. And I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step exactly how to do this so that you can make hundreds, even thousands of dollars in profit using this method. But I do wanna warn you, there are several steps involved in this, so make sure you do not skip around because if you miss any of the steps, you will not be able to get this right and you will miss something important that you need to know in order to be successful doing this on Facebook. Here are a lot of my viewers doing this and you can see it's working for them. So look, pay attention because this absolutely does work. Here are some of my students who are doing it and some of my subscribers. You can see their results, you saw my results. So if you take action, if you pay attention, this can work for you as well. So what are we doing here today? We're talking about drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace or Facebook drop shipping. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, let me show you. Now, drop shipping itself is a really simple business model. So here's how it works. You have a customer here and she's shopping online and she'll spend $100 buying an item from you. There you are right there. You have your store set up, in this case, on Facebook Marketplace. Now, what you would then do is you turn around, spend $80 and buy that item from your supplier and the supplier ships the item directly to your customer. That is what drop shipping is. It's a very, very simple business model. So if you're a beginner looking to get started, don't wanna have to put too much risk in it, don't wanna have a ton of upfront investment, like this is a no brainer. This is a business model that you should be doing. Now, the way drop shipping works can really change depending on who your supplier is and where you drop ship. So we can drop ship on eBay, on Amazon, on Shopify, or even on Facebook Marketplace. So this is Facebook Marketplace. If you're not familiar with it, just go to facebook.com and click on the left where it says Marketplace and you'll be able to see all of these items that are for sale. Now, traditionally, Facebook Marketplace was very similar to Craigslist where you would list an item up for sale and if someone was interested in it, you would meet up with them in person. They would pay you either cash or through like Venmo and then you would physically hand them the item. But that's no longer the case. Yes, you can do that, but increasingly what we're doing is we are shipping items directly to the customers. And because we're doing that, we are able to now use the drop shipping model here on Facebook Marketplace. So if you look around, you'll still see it's used a lot for selling items locally. And they sell so many different items on here, like video games, cars, RVs, and also some really like random weird stuff. Like check out this right here, this person giving away free Cheez-Its. You can sell pretty much anything on Facebook Marketplace. So that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna sell items on here but we're going to drop ship them. Now, like I said, once someone buys the item from us, we are going to ship it or have our supplier ship it directly to them. So who do we use as suppliers? Well, let's not make this too complicated. We are just going to use other retail websites. So a good one, for instance, is walmart.com. So literally what I'm going to do is I'm going to find an item here and I'm going to just copy everything, you know, the description, the photos, list it up for sale on Facebook. When it sells, I'm gonna buy it from Walmart, but for the shipping address, I'm going to put in the buyer's shipping address on Facebook so Walmart will ship the item directly to the customer. Very, very simple business model. Again, if you're a beginner, if you're looking for a very simple way to get started without a huge upfront investment of time or money, there's nothing simpler than this right here. Selling on Facebook, which you already have, selling from suppliers like Walmart and Amazon, which are so incredibly simple and easy to get started selling from. So let me actually show you now how to list an item and how I find items to drop ship onto Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. The best items that I've drop shipped onto Facebook Marketplace are items that I had already been selling well on eBay because I've been doing this drop shipping on eBay for a while. But you might not have a successful eBay drop shipping store. So let me show you kind of a hack, a very easy way to find great products to drop ship onto Facebook Marketplace by using eBay. So if I come over here to eBay, you can start actually by on Walmart because Walmart has a bunch of brands brands that only they sell because they it's their brand. So for instance, if I search on here for mainstays, this is a brand that Walmart created. So any mainstays product is a Walmart product. So if I come over here on eBay and search for the word mainstays, you'll see there's so many items here, right? This TV folding table, these picture frames right here. What else? This console table. I really like this one because I like the price. I like things that are a bit higher in price because then I can mark 
mark it up more and really get some good profit margins in there. So I'm gonna check out this one, open this one up, and I'm looking for items that have sold a bunch of times. This one sold two times, which is not bad. But let me see if I can find something that sold a lot more than that. So let's look at this TV. This one's selling a lot. See, if I click here where it says the number sold in the past hour, it said three sold in the past hour, but other than that, it's not selling. So let's keep looking. This one, all right, here we go right here. This one has sold like hundreds of times. So this would be a really good one if it is in fact being drop shipped from Walmart. So let's see if I can find this on Walmart to see if that's what's going on. So what I'm gonna do is scroll down to the description, highlight it and search for it on Google. The first result is from Walmart and this looks like the right thing. I just gotta find the right one. So this is a queen size platform. Here we go, queen, boom, right there. So right here we have a winning product right here. We know this sells really well on eBay. And in my experience, if it's selling well on eBay, it's going to do really well on Facebook Marketplace as well. So this is the item I wanna sell right here. See what I did there? I searched for mainstays or I started searching for Walmart products on eBay. I found one that was selling hundreds of times and now I'm going to sell that same product on Facebook Marketplace. So check out how easy this is. Once I have that product, I'm over here on Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna click on the left here where it says create new listing. Now we are trying to keep this as simple as possible. Remember, we're not trying to make this complicated because I want you to be able to start your first successful side hustle or another successful side hustle. So just trying to make this as much of a no brainer as possible. What I'm going to do is click on item for sale and I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel here. I'm not gonna take new photos, go buy the item, take photos and write my own description. I'm just gonna use the stock images and stock descriptions that were already provided to me by Walmart. So check this out. What I'll do is I'll start with the photos. So I'm going to first save this photo right here. I'm gonna save it to desktop, call it number one. And I'm doing this for all the photos right here. Let's quickly go through them. And then I'm gonna come over to Facebook and I'm gonna click on add photos. And I would just select all those photos. And in the meantime, while those upload, I'm going to start building my title. Now the title on Facebook Marketplace is really important because there will be other people selling the same product as you. So if you have a better title, there's a greater chance they're gonna buy it from you than from someone else. So what makes a good title? Well, the most important thing for a good title is that it needs to be packed full of keywords. Keywords are what people are gonna be searching for when they're looking for this product. So for instance, what is this? I, I started listing this item up for sale and I'm not even like paying attention to what it is. That's kind of the art of listing products and doing this drop shipping model because when you are selling these products, you're gonna be selling so many different products, you don't even really care what they are. The important thing is, are they selling? Is this something that people would actually wanna buy? You're gonna be selling kitchen products, you're gonna be selling bedroom products, you're gonna be selling pet stuff, you're gonna be selling artwork, all these different things. As long as they are selling well, that is all that you care about. We're not gonna niche down into a specific niche. That's not the way you wanna run a dropshipping business on a marketplace like Facebook Marketplace. So now that I'm actually looking at it, I see that, oh yeah, this is a bed frame, right? It is a high profile foldable steel bed frame powder coated steel queen. And you see this title right here, it's full of all of these words. But a lot of these words are not what people are going to be searching for if they want to find a bed frame. Some of them though are. So I'm going to pick out of these just based on experience. I know what people are going to be searching for. They want to know the size. So 14 inch high profile foldable. I don't know if these are things people are going to be searching for. Foldable looks important. Steel bed frame definitely sounds important. And the size queen. Let's start throwing those words in there. So I like to make the first three or four words fully describe the item. I'm going to do foldable steel bed frame. Foldable steel bed frame. And then I'll do queen size. Now, what else can I throw in there? So the other place I look is up here in the categories. So this is bed frame, bed frames, bedroom furniture. So I'm gonna throw in there bedroom furniture. And another place I like to look is in the description of the item. Sometimes you, you see words in there that will stand out that people would actually search for. But another great resource is Title Builder. So this is a website that will help you build titles. So what it does is if I put something here like bed frame, it knows that, hey, when people search for the word bed frame, they also search for these things. So they search for antique, they search for full, which is obviously a size. Now I'm not just gonna throw these keywords in here if they don't apply. Now this is not an antique, this is not a full size, not vintage, but size I can throw in there, right? I threw in the word, right, queen size, so that was good. Iron, headboard, rails, brass, cast, twin, double, metal, Victorian. So this wasn't 
wasn't too helpful. So I don't see any new words. But what I could then do is go through this right here, this description, find other keywords and throw them in here as well to really fill it up with lots of keywords. Once I do that, I would then come back to the photos and I can see that they've now uploaded. So I wanna find the best one, the one that really showcases the product. Now this one looks the prettiest, so it's not bad, but you really wanna be able to see the product. And I think one of these ones really demonstrates the product better. Like I think I'm gonna use this one right here. All right, so now we take the price of the item. So I would mark this up. This was how much on Walmart, $79. I don't pay sales tax, I'm tax exempt. There's no shipping costs on this one either. So I would mark that up and throw that price in there. Whatever it is I wanna do it at, make sure to also have enough to cover your Facebook marketplace fees. Then we pick the category. Category. The category is also important because people do search through categories. So I'm going to find where this is. You can actually even try searching for it. So if I search for bed frame, it actually comes right up. So that's perfect. These are always new because we're drop shipping. The brand is optional. I'm gonna leave it blank in this case. And the material, a lot of these extra like item specifics, you can leave them blank, but if you wanna take the time to fill them in, it could help. So this is steel. So I'm gonna throw in here the word steel. Well. Metal is the only choice. So that's not very helpful, but there it is. Now the description, again, not trying to make this complicated, right? You are given a description right here from Walmart. So literally I'm just gonna copy all this and paste it in there. And I would remove some of the stuff, make it look a little bit nicer, stuff that's irrelevant I would, wouldn't would include, but that's, that's there you go. And then what you can do is add in any product tags if you wanna do that and choose a location and then boom, you can just finish the listing process and bam, you have an item listed up for sale right there. So what's gonna happen next is you're gonna start to get a ton of messages from different customers or potential customers who are going to want to know more information about the product, whether it's available and if you're going to lower the price of it at all. So this is a lot different than other marketplaces like eBay and Amazon because there's a lot more haggling that goes on. That's just part of the game with it. So you can talk to people, get them more comfortable with purchasing the item, maybe work on lowering the price a little bit to get them kind of to buy it right away. All this is kind of makes Facebook drop shipping a lot more fun, I think. The customers are really nice, really awesome customers, very understanding, very willing to work with you on the price and with, you know, if there's any sort of problems with the order. So it's a lot of fun, this part of it. I enjoy it quite a bit, but you kind of have to get a little, build up a skill here of negotiating and getting people to buy the item from you. Once they actually purchase it from you, that next step is really simple. You'll get a notification on Facebook that the sale happened and they'll give you the address to ship the item to. Or if you got the pay payment off of Facebook, the customer will message you the shipping address. So what I then do is come over here on Walmart to the item. I'm gonna add the item to my cart. I will then start the checkout process. And for the shipping address, and here I'm not gonna put my address because I don't need the item. The item's gonna go directly to the customer. So I'm just gonna grab the address from Facebook and paste it in right here. Click save address, complete the checkout process. And now Walmart is literally going to fulfill the order for me. They're going to ship the item directly to the the customer so I never have to handle the inventory, handle the box at all, which is why I can do this from anywhere in the world as long as I have my laptop and an internet connection. Now, once you make your first sale, you're gonna see that the product research is going to get easier and easier and easier because you're gonna know better what products are selling well on Facebook Marketplace. So you're just gonna sell more of those products. And once you start to build that momentum, that's how people are making hundreds and thousands of dollars with this incredibly simple business model. So if you guys enjoyed this video, it did take me weeks to figure this out. So I would appreciate if you smash the like button down below, then let me know in the comments section whether this is something that you're going to be doing yourself, whether you're gonna take action on what I taught you in this video and try to do this yourself. And in the meantime, if you wanna learn a little bit more about how this process works, make sure to check out this video right here. This is where I spend my first week doing Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. You can see exactly how much money I made in my first week. So click here, check out the video, and I'll see you there in just a few seconds.